a little more non-standard example of port IO. So folks had reverse engineered VMware to find what they called a backdoor IO port. Now it's not exactly a backdoor in the malicious sense of the word, it's just some mechanism that uh, VMware added into the virtualization system so that it responds to particular commands sent on a given port IO port. So I've chosen to use the commands for reading the copy paste buffer that's used when copying into and out of a particular VM. And there's also some optional, you know, no operating system found dialog box that you can pop up. But if you want to find more commands and fiddle around, uh, this link will be on the website for you to go read about that. So let's go see what this code looks like. So go down to VMware port IO and driver.c. And inside of here, we've got a few assembly functions. What do those assembly functions do? Well, here's the OS pop-up one, which is commented out right now. So let's skip down to one is a command to get the keyboard uh, clipboard text length. So like how much text is in the clipboard right now. And another is to get the actual clipboard text itself. Now the particular magic value that VMware wants to find in EAX at the top of port IO is this value just found by people reverse engineering. It expects a command in CX and then the port IO port is 5658. So if you set up things like this so that there's a particular command in CX and then you just do a in assembly instruction from DX which is 5658 to EAX, so this is gonna be the four byte read in, this will give you the clipboard text length. Once you have that, then you could you know, dynamically allocate a buffer or just know how big the amount of data is to read in, and you can instead run this getting the actual data command. So same thing, magic number in EAX, command in CX, same port 5658, and again, you read in four bytes or you could read one byte at a time, and this will read in the actual clipboard text. So let's go ahead and build that. And then the key thing is that we're going to want to copy in some actual text. So we're gonna copy over the binary data right now to copy our executables. We wanna make sure we get some text into the clipboard buffer before we actually uh, run this thing. Otherwise, we're not gonna see what we wanna see. So let's go ahead and put that there. Run the commands to install it. Oops, I, feel I don't install because I forgot to copy some text. So let's copy some text. And this time, let's run it. Accept. And then let's look at what we see in. Yeah, so I was complaining that the, the data was not text. I think it might have to actually be text that comes in from the uh, outside. So I'm just going to copy this clipboard. And there you go, I can see that my clipboard contains clipboard. So let's remove this and reinstall it. Reinstall, doesn't prompt because I already did it. And there we go. Is this your clipboard data? Clipboard. So that's just a fun little miscellaneous use of port IO to access some mechanism that VMware has built into its virtualization system.